Hello, my name is Michael Schneider. So I'm the CFO of Brain Biotech here in Swingenberg. In the next couple of minutes, I'd like to explain to you what Brain is all about, uh, why we're an interesting stock to invest, and also how the progress was in the sixth month of our financial year. First of all, let me explain to you what we actually do. Brain Biotech is a company of 55.3 million revenue in last fiscal year, about 400,000 positive FBA, an equity ratio of 32%. We have about 600 specialty B2B products, which we already today market on the market. The 40 active patent families, more than 200 also successfully closed industrial partnerships, particularly here on the collaboration business on the TMS side. We have 310 employees, more than 30 years of experience, which makes us one of the oldest biotech companies basically in Germany and also in Europe. And we're listed as a Frankfurt Stock Exchange in the prime standard since 2016. Well, what does Brain do and why do we focus so much on food? Because essentially we think that with 10 billion people soon to be on the planet, we cannot continue as today. Essentially feeding all the people on this planet by mass produced food will not work. So we have to find different, more intelligent solutions to relieve our planet essentially from the stress we have currently feeding all these people. One answer is persistent fermentation, which is basically using microorganisms that produce food proteins. We are in the business of fermented food. They essentially they use side streams of the food industry to actually transform it into more valuable food or feed. We do things like single cell proteins, where we try to give things texture, taste modification, sweetness modification, essentially by cell proteins. And we are also in the business enabling plant protein production, where you produce with plants essentially meat products and dairy products, also particularly for vegan and vegetarian markets. If you look today at industrially produced food, at least one enzyme is an ingredient in almost, almost all of these industrially produced foods. Brain biotech technologies strengthen the market for vegetarian and vegan nutrition, and there are more and more people who live these lifestyles right now across the globe. And our task and goal is essentially the identification and development of suitable enzymes for this industrial food production, as well as proteins and microorganisms. But how do we do it? Well, actually, our teacher is nature. So we go out in nature, we look here for new discovery of new protein engineering the fraction of selection and look for new proteins and enzymes out there. Once we have found them, we need to produce them. And how do you produce them? You use microbial strains. Think about things like baker's yeast, for example. Once we have found the protein and the suitable strain, we need to express the protein into the strain. That's called expression technology. Once that is done, the strain needs to be optimized to have the highest possible yield and actually be usable for vaccine production. We then have to develop a whole bioprocess to so bring it from the laboratory into the steel tank. We then ferment it in our big steel tank, and we do up to 10 cube and fermentation here. We need to formulate and plan so it's suitable for the, for the food industry, and then we sell it directly to our end customers. So we have fully backwards integration solutions provider here as a B2B offering in the market. The first part of the business, from discovery to around about bioprocess development, that's what our bioscience division does. The second part of the business is the bioproducts business, that we really produce the products, bring them to the market, and sell them to our customers. If you some example, our Delta Brew family is actually suited for the brewing industry and is ex has a malting excellence. Naturzyme is looking at the food and vegetable industry or winemaking industry. Deltazyme, rather in starch processing, which, for example, is used for bioethanol production. And we have also a strong position in the dairy market, for example, here in yogurts or cheeses, or things like egg processing and mayonnaise. Corporates have been the highlights of the last six months of our business year. But first and foremost, we received a very meaningful milestone of 1.5 million of one of our pharma programs in the, in the program Geocryptibent to a licensed partner for Varis which is the largest milestone ever received in the company history. And not only that, the program also moved into phase three of clinical trials, which means they have been significantly de-risked in terms of probability of actually reaching markets with many more milestones to come in nature 9 million, and thereafter a solid stream of royalties, which we can expect from the program if successfully launched. Secondly, our bioproducts division, we have seen good growth in the second quarter over the first quarter by about 12%. We are also quite confident in the second half of the year we see further growth of the division, and particularly Breatec, our enzyme business around the baking area, is performing extremely strong. 
Cash on hand has significantly improved from 5 million to 10.2 million. We had a cash inflow of 5.5 million essentially from increasing financial liabilities. We raised an additional convertible bond in the market of 5 million and had some scheduled debt repayments of 1.8 million, giving us a solid cash reach for the rest of the year. We have also made some good progress in our buying incubator pipeline. First of all, from our project Gold from Waystream, we have a project progress as planned. The buyer extractor, which is our, you know, let's say, uh, medium sized lab uh, based in a container, we have now moved out of our campus here in Swingenberg to our partner location in Europe. We have now integrated co production process of the partners on the site with our buyer extractors. So, very good progress on the project, and hope we can communicate more on that and who is the partner in due course. Secondly, on Brazilian, that's our sweetener program. They were trying to have a natural sugar alternative as a non-caloric sweetener. And here, essentially, again, good progress as a partner. We have found a new strong partner for the process, again, constructive negotiations to the commercialization strategy. And also quite interesting for you to know, Brazilian has now gotten the so-called FDA grass approved in the US, which means it's generally regarded as safe to be used in food applications which means that also our application process for a Prazi in protein in the U.S. market would be much easier and quicker to market. What is also very important for us, and I explained it before, that when we find an enzyme, we have to express this, but actually the expression platform, as Evie's microbial strain platform, get ever more perfected. I.e., if we increase the yield of these strains, these strains become more productive and our biofactories become more productive. And that is one area of strong investment which we do at the moment, because it will increase productivity of fermentation significantly at our daughter company as our catalyst, but also allow us to make a milestone and royalty business out of it by selling these train platforms to our customers. Let me run quickly into the numbers of the six months. In the first six months, we had flat revenues of the group overall, but with a strong acceleration in the second quarter, and indeed we do expect more acceleration in the third quarter and fourth quarter, to reach our full year target of around 5 to 12% growth on top line. The bioproduct segments have particularly strong momentum the second half of the year, growing 12% over the first quarters with further good momentum into the next quarter. You see some very uh, good milestone income of 140,000 euros on the bioscience segment compared to 55,000 last year, so very pleasing to see that. Secondly, and more importantly, you see the big Favaris milestone of 1.5 million being realized and recognized in our bio-incubator segment, which of course was a very, very strong program for us throughout the last years, and particularly this year is the largest milestone ever received. Bioproducts, as said, we expect further strong momentum for the second half of the year. Bioscience, we expect essentially flattish to slightly up sales for the year. The bio-incubator project, bio-incubator segment is driven essentially by the 1.5 million milestone. And the adjusted EBIT up to EBITDA, we have only small adjustments for our stock option program. Macrobian Genomics, very important program for us. Here we're looking at our own gene scissor. We have invested 1.5 million so far in six months compared to 1.7 million last year. We expect to, expect, to, we expect to spend roughly the same as last year into the full business year. The difference in the first six months is mostly tiny. Let me quickly go to cash flow and cash here, particularly the cash on hand has more than has almost doubled to 10.1 million. We have additionally 5 million of new financing coming in in the next quarter of the fiscal year of Hessen Capital. We have also some paybacks, so there will be net positive cash flow in the third quarter of 4.1 million. And we are now also in additional negotiations to find other non-dilutive measures that reach beyond the 23-24 business year. So we see ourselves in a good position and we'll see ourselves in an increasingly good position in the next quarters to come to finance our growth. Our guidance remains unchanged for this year and also the midterm guidance, i.e. for this year we're aiming 58 to 62 million of sales, which represents 5 to 12 percent growth. We're looking at EBITDA to grow at least in line with that sales growth on percentage level. A Caribbean genomics, we expect, we expect flat spending of about 3.3 million year on year. Our midterm targets, I would call, are still very ambitious. So growing in the next uh, four to five years to 100 million group revenues, so almost doubling in size, growing to an EBITDA margin at a midpoint of 15%, and essentially having a strong proportion of new products in the market by that time. So why are we an interesting company to invest in? Five reasons for that. First, by investing in brain, you're investing in sustainable growth in the dawning age of biology. 
With our solution, we address some of the mega topics for better, healthier, and more sustainable lives. We actively contribute to more sustainable industrial production and the entry into the circular economy. We have an attractive portfolio of biotechnology solutions, so not a one product company, but a whole portfolio of solutions and processes. And we have embarked now on a clear path towards profitable growth. Next communication will be our nine month reporting on August the 29th. And if you have ever further questions, please contact Investor Relations or myself. It's been a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks a lot. <laughs>